Samantha and Yvonne. Samantha and Yvonne that we, we discussed just now both have weight issues. Yes. Are we going to get the similar weight issues as two candidates like with weight issues? So, Samantha and Yvonne. The ones that will be joining the Sculptor Season 2. It's actually both of you! <laughs> Finally found three. Let's come forward. Come on. So there'll be three of you uh, to work along with us. You enjoy the journey. I know this journey is not easy, but it's not impossible. And wish them all the best and congratulations. I think you are not suitable to do any kind of body contouring treatments. You give me some time. You know, from someone who's from 55 kg to 95 kg, it's really causing a problem. And I eventually add the broccoli until I warm it up, but it just doesn't work on my body. Hello, Rachel. Hi, welcome to the Sculptor Season 2. I'm Josh, yep. You're going to help me out with body contouring part of the treatment. Hi, I'm Rachel. I'm a graphic designer with 11 years of working experience and I have two beautiful daughters. Let's go to school. <laughs> graphic designer for 11 years. I feel like I'm having this comfort zone, comfort zone too long. I try to jump up from that position, but it seems like they don't have that confidence on me. With my disappearance, this hectic looks, and my body is like this, and so I feel like I need to come out this, come out from this. Today, we're going to go through a body assessment. At the same time, um, we're going to take your weight and your height to come out of BMI. And after the treatment, after your healthy lifestyle, uh, what can you achieve from there? A new look, a new me, more confident, and then change the, a bit the lifestyle, give more me time. Now, today, we're trying to do body contouring part of it, is to get rid of, to eliminate the stubborn fat area. These fats do not respond well to exercise and diet. Uh, we would like want you to take off the ropes and we can start doing the proper assessment as soon as possible. Are you right? I need to take out. Yes. Can we up? If you don't take off the rope, we can't do any assessment at all. What was the concern? Mm. I'm quite concerned about what people think of me. <laughs> so okay. with, with my Cellulite, my right. sagging body. Right. Yeah. That's why you are here for. You are here for to make yourself a better version, to improve who you are now. Or you need some time to think about it. Or oh, I can get her up here. Sometimes I feel very shy because I never show my belly before. Don't judge me. <laughs> it's ugly. I'm Samantha. I'm 30 years old this year and um, working in banking industry. I wake up early, I'll go to work and after work I'll spend two hours in the gym and then I'll reach home and I will read some, you know, Google some uh, articles about how to lose weight. That's my life. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, we need you to take off the rope. Okay. Then we can start from here now. I need to face the mirror. <laughs> You need to follow on this way. Very good. Let's put it down. This is the most bothering to you. Okay. Wait, where is the second one? Actually, the whole part. I feel very embarrassed because uh, I'm exposing my bo my ugly body. People has been using ugly nicknames on me, and uh, been addressed at oil tank Samantha. It's very hurting. In fact, from then I try to. <laughs> You know, exercise, find a way to, to, to actually cut down, even take pills from doctors. 
but it all doesn't work. And the most uh, massive one is I'm taking only fruits for my meal consumption. <laughs> and I eventually uh, add the broccoli until I vomited. I've been consuming the same food every day and uh, I'm very tired. I've been trying to achieve it, to actually change myself to a different person, but yet every time I disappoint myself. I am not happy because I'm carrying the burden every single day. I hope through this program I can, you know, rebuild myself, find a new me. And this is the last time I'm giving myself, uh, hopefully that I can uh, change my life. She is a girl who has already lost herself totally. She is too focused and too rigid in certain way that she tend to lose what is the real meaning behind the life that she wants. And maybe from there, I, I just want to wake her up, you know? Come give me your hug. Oh, uh, you'll be fine. Thank you. Okay. Hello Yvonne, hey. so we're going to start our assessment mm -hmm. and uh, we're going to assess you with both cool sculpting and okay. sculpture. Would okay. you mind to pick up the ropes please? Thank you. Okay. Let's start with your arms, your upper arms. Do you mind to help us do this way? Yeah. Your yeah. palms facing the front, okay? okay? Is this bothering to you? Oh yeah. It's bothering you? <laughs> it's bothering you much. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Hi, I'm Yvonne. I'm originally from Sabah, I'm coming to 26 this year and I work as an online program host. When I came to KL, I'm actually at the weight of 55 kg. Now, I'm 26 so it's almost like around 8 years, I've already become 95 kg. So it's like from 55 to 95 and that's like a whole lot of kgs added to. One of the food I would consider that I eat a lot is fried food because I feel like eating fried food mm, hides the taste of some things that I don't like. I've got a lot of rejections, especially when it comes to performances. You know, I just go to the audition and they're like, you know, I'm so sorry to say, but we're looking for someone who looks much more. And, you know, the guy didn't, didn't want to say it the hard way. There are times when I realized what I'm, you know, my body is an obstacle for me when my own mother, she don't really like who I am right now. When I participated in Jamo Queen, I got to win a third place. Sadly to say, my mom, she don't really support me in this because she feels that being fat is not something to be proud of. So I really hope that, you know, by doing this, I get her to understand what I'm doing and I really want her to know that I'm actually doing my best. So we have four cycles here uh, to get it at least, you know, it, it looks more, it looks tighter and then um, where kill the fats when you see the contour of your arms, the upper arm here will be a bit smaller, slimmer. Yvonne has a very bubbly, correct uh, personality. She has confidence in herself. That's what we like about. The only one thing that we quite worry about her is how serious and how committed she is. She needs guidance and, and there's quite a lot of misconception in her, especially when it comes to diet, when it comes to leading a healthy lifestyle and exercising. So I think um, with the great help of the professionals, uh, she should be very well taken care of. She'll be on the right track. Feeling better? Yeah. Right? Let's start. Uh, we need you to stand up and take off the ropes here. Thank you very much. Right? Relax yourself. We do it very quickly. Mm. This is not really like something. Yeah, this weird. looks like something is happening here, but I think we need to do a proper examination for you. What she's having is a diastasis uh, recti. For these kind of cases, uh, it's not about fat anymore. It's about trying to uh, strengthen the core muscles that is in front. So in this kind of condition, I think you're not suitable to do any kind of body contouring treatments. I didn't know, I didn't notice until, until last year, I used the public transportation. People keep giving me seat. Someone said, oh, you, you are pregnant, come. Come, I give you this seat. 
I feel like fed up. It's quite disappointed.